أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I am honored and pleased to be with you here and I would like to congratulate ICNA, the Islamic Circle of North America, for its 44 years of service, dedication, commitment to our community. 44 years made many of its followers with the gray hairs. It is not an easy task. And they have made this convention with the name Healing Humanity. As you know, brothers and sisters, or you may know, and I would like to share with you, the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations USCMO is an umbrella organization that considered healing humanity starts with healing ourselves, healing our community, healing the ummah. Then we will heal humanity. We cannot heal no one if we do not address our own. I am very happy, honored to share with you that the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations took this step to heal our community and to come together. Talk is not enough. Action is what demanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We took the verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا It was in the form of order. It was not if you would like to come together. No. It was وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا And the first one, brothers and sisters, وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا لا إِزْنَافِيَ بِالْأَمْرِ It enforces that you should not be divided. And the completion of the verse, وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا Remember, when you were enemies divided, killing one another, and now you are one, Brothers and sisters, when you look at the Muslim Ummah today, it is quite reversed. The so-called leaders who have been ruling our Ummah for years, changing this paradigm from true brothers into enemies, from the ni'mah to naqmah, destruction, Chaos, havoc in our ummah. Almost there is not a single Muslim country without problems, without death and destruction. Yet the ummah is full of resources and money. This money is spent to kill, 
our fellow Muslims around the world. Healing the humanity cannot start without healing our own ills. To heal our ummah from the corrupt dictatorship that is ruling our ummah. That is putting us in the very bad face in the world as if our faith, our deen, our Quran, our prophet is not the best example for the entire humanity of goodness, of mercy, of compassion. They have demonized us. They have humiliated us. And therefore, brothers and sisters, take advantage of this convention to build, to believe in healing ourselves to truly come to unity because only unity on the basis of respect and equal that we can really heal our own and we start going beyond our borders. Brothers and sisters, you may see the passion. You cannot spend one night, one day, without reading about hundreds and hundreds of Muslims dying every day from our own, from those who claim to rule. When our enemies used to kill us, they sent no one. And now, over thousands of miles, with billions of dollars, they are sending money military equipments to kill the weak, to kill our own, to kill the brothers and sisters around the Muslim Ummah. They do not represent us. And the change will happen. In Allah la yughayyiru ma bi qawm hatta yughayyiru ma bi anfusihim. Start with this convention. Let's change. Let's truly come forward. Let's walk the talk. Let's begin with our unity. This is what the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations is all about. And I'm very happy to report that ICNA is one of the founders. We are eight founders. AMP, CARE, ICNA, MANA, MASS, MLFA, MUNA, and the ministry of Imam Warthadim Muhammad. They truly understood healing of humanity, start with healing of the community, and then the ummah, and then the world. And inshallah, we'll be there. We need your dua, we need your support. We want you to join us, because that's the only answer we can have, is true unity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless this convention and make it a successful one. Their success is our success, and our success is a hope for the Ummah. Thank you very much. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.